Hi, my name is Sherry and I'm the Academy and Community Lead at Easy Store. And by the end of this video, you will learn on how to categorize your product and display your product in a much more organized way with product collection. Firstly, you will need to log in into your Easy Store admin panel and then go to the product section. So once you click onto the product section, you can select the second one, which is the collections. So click into the collections, you will reach to the collection page. All right. So if you have previously created some collections, you will be able to see the list here and also how many products which is under this collection and also the visibility, whether they are visible on your store or not. Okay. So now we are going to try to add a new collection. So bear in mind that the collection can be things that is best seller, a hot seller as your collection. So basically a collection is something that is for your customers to be easily search for the products that they are looking for. Yeah. So now let's try to add a new collection. So click on add collection and you will reach to this page where you will need to fill in the details, the information about this collection. So let's give it a title for this collection. For example, I'm going to name it as best sellers. And you can select to whether you want to upload a feature image for this collection. Okay. So for example, if I do have a feature image for collections, I can just select and upload. It can upload through the product image, which you have uploaded, or you can upload a new image, or you can add a new image with the format of a URL. Okay. So just for example, that I'm going to click this. So this is the bestseller collection image. And you would like to add a content to tell your customers more about this specific collection. You can write it as well. For example, bestsellers of 2022. So once we have done with the collection name and also collection content, and also the feature image, if you would like to upload one, then we can scroll down and take a look at the search engine optimization, the SEO meta description for this collection page. So if you click it in, you can see the meta description is actually the similar description in the content section there. So the content remaining that the description of this collection is actually important for this SEO. So they should be unique and also the content should be very clear and easy to read as well. All right. So with this SEO is actually an amazing tool for your customers to have a better chance of finding this specific collection that they search. For example, they are looking for a product that um, they want to buy. So they browse through and they Google search for this specific product. And so happens that this product is under the collection of this collection that you are creating. So they can browse through, they can Google search for this specific product and they came across your collection page. And once they click into this collection page, then they can browse your product from this collection. Okay, so this SEO is really, really amazing tool for your customers to look for you, as mentioned. So just bear in mind that the content of this collection page can be something that is unique, that is um, that is more on your own. Yeah, you can explore your creativity in coming up with the content and description of this collection, which can bring value to your brand image as well. Okay, so once we are done, you can see the visibility publish schedule or unpublished do you want this specific collection to publish immediately on your store or you can just unpublish it or you would like to schedule it for example some sellers they have created a collection specific just for special occasion for example labor day father's day or mother's day special so this collection will only appear on the specific day okay so you can schedule it as well so for example two days after is is uh Father's Day or Mother's Day, so we can just schedule it so that this collection will only appear on that day. Okay, but if not, you can just publish it. So once everything is done, it's very quick and you can just click save and there you go. You'll be able to see the collection created here. All right, so you can always come back to this collection page, click on the collection and you can do the editing if you would like to amend things or you can just delete the whole collection. All right. So now the next step is 
if you take a look at the product here, there's zero product, meaning that under this collection, there's no product yet. So what you're going to do now is to assign the products to be under the collection of best sellers. So if you're creating a collection of best sellers, of course, you will need to put what are the products that is considered as best seller. Okay, so it's very simple to assign products into this collection is you can go to all products. You can see the list of the products that you have uploaded. So now you are going to select which are the products, which products to be under the collection of best sellers. For example, high heels. So if you would like to select the product, you can just take the checkbox. Okay. Take the product which you consider as a best seller. Okay. So just assume that these three products, I would like to assign them to be under best seller. So once you take them, you can see collections. So you click collections. And here we will ask you to select the collection, which collection that you would like to assign these three products to. Okay. So you can untick those and put in them into best sellers and assign collections. Okay. So it's done. So once done, you can go back to your collection section and there you go. You can see under bestseller collection, there are three products added. So this is how you can create product collection and assign products into your collection. So how it looks like once you have created a product collection, you can see product catalog. You'll be able to see the collections that you have created bestsellers. So once your customers click into the best sellers, it will bring them to the collection page. And here you will see the things that you have set up just now. You can see the name of the collection. You can see the feature image of the collection and what are the products under this best seller collection. So they can browse through the products. Yeah, together with the description as well. So of course, if your description is much longer than mine, then it will appear here as well. Okay, so this is how you can create a product collection and how you can make your customers will be able to shop with you easier with a product collection. So now let's try to create a sub collection. So for example, my main collection is bestseller and I'm going to have shoes, bags and accessories and top dresses and blazers as my sub collection of my main collection of bestseller. So how to do that? You can see that there is these eight dots here. So you can just click these eight dots, hold it, and you can drag until bestseller. And you'll be able to see that the section of bestseller is highlighted in blue. So once it is highlighted in blue, you can let go. And there you go. You can see that shoes, bag, and accessories is under bestseller as a sub collection. Okay. Same goes to top dresses and blazers as well. You can drag it until bestseller until you can see it is highlighted in blue and then you can let go. You can see this, both of these. Okay, so let's take a look at the outcome if this both of these collections is under bestseller. So you can see this is your online store. Under catalog, you can see bestseller. Beside bestseller, if you have a sub collection, it will look something like this. You can see shoes, bags and accessories and top dresses and blazers are under bestseller. So your customer can just click and browse through the collection page of these collections. Okay. And another way of this sub collection, I can say is like sub sub collection is what if you have your main bestseller, you have your sub collection of shoes, bags and accessories, but you want to have a third level of a sub collection, meaning that maybe top dresses and blazers is under shoes, bag and accessories. So there are three levels of collections. So how you do that? Actually, it works the same way as well. So you can click top dresses and blazers, click on the eight dots, hold it, and then you can drag until to the shoes bag and accessories. You can see shoes bag and accessories is highlighted in blue. You will see that. And then you let go. And now you can see there are three levels of this collection. So how it will look like on your online store? It will look like this if you have another level of sub collection. Bestseller is your main, and then shoes, bag, and accessories is the first sub collection, and then the second one, top dresses and blazers. 
So it is a very good features for you if you have a lot of products which you would like to categorize them. And then you can use this feature of collections, product collections, which you can create not just a main collection, but you can also do sub collections as well. And this is how you can create your product collection to make your products to display in a much more organized way and also easier for your customers to browse through your products. So now you can start to create more product collections. It can be based on occasions such as Father's Day special, Mother's Day special, or something that can help you to boost your sales. For example, best sellers, hot sellers, item restock, up to you. So yeah, happy creating your product collection and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.